All right, guys, what we got today is um, our two Blitzwork uh, Cessna 182s. Uh, RD's already fixed his. I'm finna show you how to fix um, uh, the front landing gear, so I'm gonna do mine. Uh, what we've done here, we've got the original that come off of the um, Blitzwork Cessna 182, and I've got the new one that comes um, that we ordered that comes on the FMS Sky Trainer. Version two. So the one that comes in the Blitz, the uh, Blitzwork one, uh, System 182 is a lot smaller. I'll, I'll take it out of the package and show you. And then you got the big, the bigger shafted one that comes from FMS. So I'm going to show you exactly what we got here. So this is the one. I'm going to open this one up. Make sure I got my camera right. All right, so this is the one that comes on the blitz work. That's the one that comes on the blitz work. Now, as you can see right here, this shaft is is really, really small. Um, probably about the size of this little screwdriver. Actually, it's smaller than that. This is the original that comes on the blitz work 182. Now, I'm going to show you the one that we bought, we got for the um, FMS Sky Trainer. See the difference? Now, this one doesn't have where it, uh, 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 I guess you'd call it suspension on it, where this one does, and you can see the little um, spring inside of the shaft, and then you can see how it collapses. All right, so. To ex explain a little bit about what happened, if you watched the videos of our Blitzwork Cessna 182 flights, we've had some great flights. Artie's flown his great, I've flown mine great, but we had troubles with the landings where the, the plane would bounce, and when it would bounce, it would bounce down on these front landing gears and it would bend them. You watch the video of RDs, RDs got bent pretty good, mine got bent pretty good, and we had to straighten them back out, and then we went back out, flew again, and they bent again, and so we're like, you know what, the hell with this, we're gonna figure out what the deal is. And like I said, you can see the difference. Blitz work, FMS. Bring it over here to the front of this camp here. You can tell the difference, oh, yeah. all right? A lot, a lot bigger. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna change this one out to this one, and mine, uh, the Blitzwork uh, 182 with the FMS front sky trainer. Now guys, I, I, I'm gonna interject something here. You cannot find this on any of the websites that, that, uh, that new gear is version two, FMS version two, and you cannot find that, on, everybody's out, everybody's back for it. I had to order these and I ordered them off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. Amazon ordered them, and I didn't know it at the time. They have to come from China, so it took us like six weeks to get the thing. But we finally got them. And I think this is going to cure our problem because we had we actually had two problems. The wire on that one's so thin, every time it touches, it bends. Yep, this and one. two, our main gear had worked loose and had slop in it. So we took the main gear back off, we glued them in place and put the screws back in. This, this is what we're talking about, the main gear right yeah, here. Yeah, absolutely. These right here. So we've, we've glued ours, ours in to where it won't, it won't flex so much. When, you, when it touches down, the, the landing gear would flex, and which would give it more bounce when it flexes. They're going to flex regardless because you got the small fairing, and um but i think gluing them in will, will solve that problem as far as so much bounce is 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 uh as they were but now you can see on rd's plane he's already put in his his uh landing gear up front here and this is the same one as this one you can see how bigger big the shaft is compared to that one this is the old one this is the new one this is the new one this is the old one and you can tell the difference, huge difference. Plus this actually collapses and bends and flexes where this isn't, this is just for show. Yeah, that's just plastic. That's just plastic, it, it doesn't do nothing. All right, so let's get to doing. What I gotta do, I gotta take the whole front end of my plane off. And what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a 
a drill, a 6.6 .6 drill bit, small cross tip, small flathead, a little bit of tape, and of course, your landing gear. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop our, our uh, dealio off here. This is our, uh, pop that off. We're gonna take our, take this off. This is all pretty easy. Just normal stuff that you do. Come off there. There we go. All right. Take the little cap off. Now the blitz work doesn't come with the chrome and all. This is the old one I had that I fixed. So, yeah, that's off the FMS. Uh, blitz work comes with the white one, which is, I mean, it looks good because the plane's white. But anyway, so we're going to take our front off right here, pops right off. And this is where we're going to get into the part where we can put the piece in. Now, mine got damaged in my last flight. And you can kind of see it a little bit where this is bent a little bit. Um, I've, I've glued all this in real heavily and I think it's pretty stable. Uh, you can order this new piece here from Blitzwork and or FMS, which is the same piece and replace, you know, replace this plastic piece, but you got to cut all this out and I'm not going to do all that. So I just glued all this in right here real good. And I think it's fine. I think it's okay. So we're going to leave it alone now. To get this piece out, it's very simple. You just loosen that screw up right there. And you see it kind of, it moves around right there. And then... You might as well take the screw all the way out and you got to replace that, uh, that arm too. And you'll see that just slide right out. And then... Show them the way you got to replace the arm. All right, so the arm, you see the, the small shaft on the blitz work, which is right here. And then the small piece inside here, which, you know, that works the way it's supposed to be. And then you got your flat piece where your screw goes in right here. So I got to replace this piece because obviously the new FMS will not go in there. You see what I'm talking about? So the kit that we got did come with a new piece, which is bigger. And it's, uh, oh. all right, so you see now what I'm talking about right here. See how much bigger that is compared to that one? You can tell the difference. This one's got a little, um, even if you was to take that uh, machine piece out, it would still be, um, yeah. it's it still, it, it'd still be way too thin. So, but you got to use this screw. So you got to take the screw all the way out. No, nope, you got to use that screw. They give you a new, they give you a new screw. screw. Okay. Yeah, it's a smaller screw. Oh yeah. Yeah. I see it. It goes all the way through the shaft. Yep. I see it. All right. All right. All right. Now I know RD said something about doing some drilling. Yeah, you got to flip that boy upside down. Yeah. Down. We got to drill that piece right there. Yep. And the one on top of it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the plane over. And we gotta get our drill bit and our drill. And we gotta drill this piece and that piece out. Correct. So this big piece will slide in. Correct. See it goes in here, but it won't go through there, it's too small. So we gotta drill those out. Being real careful. Your mine's. You might want to run a smaller drill bit through there first. Yeah, see, mine's already broke. Yep, I knew that. I, I, I had a feeling that was going to happen. See how mine's broke right there? Yep. 
нас и нет, например. Actually, I think I think I made that work without that damn piece. I think it will. It wouldn't hurt it. Just, I mean, you go ahead and glue that. I'd run a drill bit through it. Just glue it in there. Well, I, mean, I had it glued it. Well, yeah, I think it'll hurt because the only way to the only way to fix that is get that whole that whole yeah. plastic piece. But like I say, if you put if you double up on it and put that. All right, I'm gonna the, get the glue gun out. Get the glue. Get some glue on that bad boy. It should be all right. Should be. May not be, but it should be. I'll let that other camera go. Okay. It should be, but it might not be. We'll see what happens. All right, I got glue gun out. I'm gonna have to glue this piece in. This is a piece that broke on my plane on the last crash that I had. Uh oh, so I'm finna, I'm fitna. Hopefully glue this thing in place like it's supposed to be. I'm not having to buy a, new, a whole new part here, so wish me luck. All right, so what I want to do before that dries, I want to put the new shaft in right. to make sure everything lines up like it's spoda. Exactly. Spoda. Just like that. Now I can come in and I can fill this thing in with the glue that I need. Hopefully that'll hold. Now I still gotta put my linkage bar in. I didn't put that in yet, but no. that'd be all right. I can put that in a second when that dries. Come out here. All right. So now what I gotta do is pull this back out. Uh -huh. Slide that in there like yonder. Uh -huh. And then slide that back in like yonder. Come on. You probably need to stand up and look down the shaft like I did when I was up. Yeah. So what I've done is I, 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 this is the arm that goes in there. So I just had to line it up. Now I'm putting the set screw in. So to screw in and set, obviously. Boom, right there. All right. Put some little dab of glue on that screw. So it don't back out. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it. Screw it back in, and that thing should be set pretty good. Now, what I'll have to do is, it's off a little bit up here, but you'll see what the just of what we just done as far as making the hole big, big enough for the FMS um, front landing gear. Yeah, this thing's way off. Yeah, that's the way mine was. That's yeah. exactly the way mine was. Yeah, we're gonna, so what we gotta do is that back here in the back, you take this off, so y'all got one of these, you know what I'm talking about. And then there's a piece in here on the, you see right in there where I gotta take that and adjust it to make it straight. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue in here to hopefully make that work. I think it'll be fine. I think so too. Hot glue is your friend. All right, so now what I gotta do is go back here in the back and adjust this to where it's straight with the rudder. RC7 would be proud of you. What's that? RC7 would be proud of you. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. If he watches us, he's going to know that we, we saw that. So I got to bring that in. Good bit. All right, let's see. It seems to be connected pretty good. Got it glued in. Now, the only reason why I glued that, if y'all remember, this part right here is because it was broke already. If yours isn't broke, all you gotta do is just drill down with your drill bit. But mine was broke, so I had to do some some rigging right there. If you turn it over, does it need anything on top of it? No, it can't get to the top of it. Uh, so I'm gonna turn my radio on. Welcome to Open TX. Engine off. Flight mode one. Flaps up. Normal mode on. Engine off. Flight mode one. All right. Flaps up. Armed. See if it works. That's right. Seems to be good. Let's see what Going to the right a little bit, but need a half, a half a round. Nah, that's the thing. I don't have any more round. I'm I'm all the way to end. It won't even it won't turn anymore. All right, that's better. I'm gonna leave it there until I get a better runway. All right, so we got it landing gear straightened out. Get all that in there secure. I think we're good. We can put it back together. Put it back together. Put my battery tray back on. All righty. Everything else is cake from here. I think we got enough glue in there to get that. I think that's gonna be fine. We'll put our front back on. Gonna put our. It ain't on the bottom. It makes the trim all the way up on the bottom. Do what? Bottom of the cowl, not all the way up. Oh. Anyway. Put our blade on. Why are you giving me a problem? And drill your ass out? Cause I will. If I have to. Sure. Prop back on and then put our dilio back on. I don't think I ever stay, it may, I don't know. We may lose that, but it'll be alright. If we do, we'll put the new one on. Alright, as y'all can see, the that wasn't too bad. 
had to do some adjusting on mine because mine was broke, but there's your new landing gear. Like I said, all this collapses. All this contracts. And I think when we land now, so I got a little bit more stability here. I think when we land now, if we do hit the front, it's going to give because all this gives. All this in here gives. Just like the Sky Trainer I had. Unfortunately, the Sky Trainer I had is exactly that I had. It took a bad spill. And I, I, I thought I still had that piece, but I didn't. But anyway, we got we got two of them ordered and RDs is done. This one's done. It's not a big deal. It's not a big project, but you do gotta have the drill to drill out the, the holes that are smaller on that front fascia of the, of the landing gear. Um, and then get the new uh, arm, control arm that goes to the servo. By the way, that control arm comes with the landing gear. Yeah, it comes with the landing gear. So you don't have to buy that separate, it comes with it. So there you go, y'all. Maybe that'll help you with your Blitzwork 182 or whatever plane you're flying that, I mean, it may be the- Anything other than other, FMS. Uh, FNC, anything other than FMS, I think it's small like that. And you may have the same problem that we had. And if you go back and look at our videos, you'll see what I'm talking about, where they bend. So maybe that fixes it. Hope it does. We'll find out this weekend. Uh, hopefully we can go fly them and test them out. So guys, I hope the video, um, I hope the video helps you out. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Appreciate you guys watching. Fixing the front landing gear of the Blitzwork Cessna 182. Thumbs up. Hope y'all like it. Let me know in the comments below. We'll catch you guys later.